Okay, welcome to ETN News. We're looking at Hawaii, and like I was talking about before, this year when it erupted through the years, it, it flowed over this, over the slump, since the island has been made itself. Every time it erupted, it came down through here. Some of it made it to the ocean. So that means there's an extra plate on top of this that has to crack before the slump gives. Watch for the slump to give. Either we're going to get a new eruption or something's going to happen. Or this slump is going to break off. And this is a big concern for the West Coast too. Not just Hawaii. If that breaks off, it's going to cause a tidal wave. Tsunami. But anyway, I try to explain as much as I can on this. Now you see it's connecting. We've already had quakes over here and over here. So, you know, there's not much left to show quakes. Once it's broke loose, it's not going to have an earthquake. Because it's already broke loose. All right, now here's Alaska. All we have is a 4.1, 11.1 miles deep down in the Gulf of Alaska. The largest quake. The rest of these are smaller. Some of these are 2.0s and 2.2s. Like That one's a 2.6. West Northwest Arctic Village. 1.7 miles deep. Okay, let's go over here and check this out. All right, not much going on around... Government Camp, Oregon. So that's Mount Hood, 0 0.8, 3.5 miles deep. A couple of small ones around Yellowstone. Not much going on down through here except for all small activity. Now around Furnace Creek, east northeast of there, over into Nevada. Got a swarm, it looks like a few quakes there. 0 0.6. One just a little bit bigger. I'd have to zoom in though. Over here in Oklahoma, we got a swarm northeast of Cole, Oklahoma, 1.02, with 1.2 miles deep. Same thing as the earthquake magnitude. Now, Guatemala. We'll look at that here in a moment. Here's what Canada has reported, only a few small ones, 2.1, 0 0.7, 2.4. Not too much to be concerned about yet. Now here's our earthquakes. Northern Mid-Atlantic Ridge, uh, 5.0, 6.2 miles deep. Down here on the Scotia Plate, South Sandwich Islands region, 5.4. And we just had one over here, 5.1 band to sea, 96.6 miles deep. Now this one's 5.0 Fiji region, 368.2 miles deep. That is deep. And these two over here are Guatemala. You got a 5.4, 48.6 miles deep. And a 5.0, 31.9 miles deep. These are all both right off the coast. And we talked about Guatemala before too. Those are If the earthquake activity comes down through here, right here's a weak spot. A big weak spot. It could give any time and we could see a large quake. South Pacific Ocean, 5.5. East Pacific Ridge. All right, we're looking for that 7 plus still yet to occur. And this over here is getting ready to start getting hit hard, I think. If it don't go down here and all of it hit Guatemala, that would be awful. Be really bad. That one's a 5.1 South America, 115.5 miles deep. These are pretty deep quakes. All right, here's our fire map, NASA fire map. We have one anomaly, two. This one here is so thick. And then we have, let me see, one, two. And then here's a part of one coming up through here, the top end. You can see the top end. You can see just a couple pieces at the bottom, three. 
four, five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Five of them now. Had never seen five before, but you can see it. This will move over. This will move off the coast. This will be over here tomorrow. And you can check back on this map and you can see it for yourself. It's called Farms Fire Map. It's fire information for resource management system. And over here in the ocean on these storms around Australia where that one is on land. And it's at uh, 30 mile per hour right now. But we got two more that's starting up in the ocean north north of Papua New Guinea and north east of Papua New Guinea. Let's go down and see what we're looking like. Okay, this is the part that's getting heavy rain right now. Australia. All the way down to Carter's Towers and Townville. So it's right on that, just crossing over Carter's Towers now. And a couple patches on down here. Very light rain, and that is light rain. But this up here is your heavy rain. Over an inch in some spots. Okay, I hope you you all are ready and don't get flooded out. Okay, that's all I see on the storms. And I'll see you all next time on the next update. Everybody stay safe and we'll be watching.